Okay, so um, what I want to do today is uh, have a customer who wants to bring in a Hoffman panel inside a uh, ePlans Pro Panel 3D. So here I have a Hoffman uh, panel and uh, I have the Retail equivalent here, which is the wall mount. Um, I've actually uh, built up a wall mount uh, uh, database. Um, so basically here the, the, the customer wants a Hoffman panel. Uh, the thing that you'd have probably have to do is go get this step file for the Hoffman panel. And also the, ha the Hoffman panel, uh, the little wall mount, uh, you need to, it's a separate component, you have to get the mounting panel for it, so you have to download two step files. So basically, just grab uh, the Hoffman panel uh, uh, part number, and then inside the Hoffman website, you can go and actually download that, uh, input that part number, and you'll be able to go and download the 3D step file. Uh, you'll probably have to do that for the for the back plate. So I've already done that, and here I have uh, the, the the wall mount. Uh, so I just brought it in. I, I imported it, in, and here you'll notice that of course there is no uh, back plate assigned to it yet. And I've also downloaded the the back plate. So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the back plate. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to bring it over to my other panel here. I'll paste that in here. It doesn't really matter where I put it. I'm going to manually move it anyway. Um, now, due to the fact that the, the, that the uh, back plate needs to go on a specific mounting point, what I'm going to do is a little trick. I'm going to grab these guys here and I'm going to hide these. I'm going to hide this one as well, all these separate parts. And obviously this back plate has to go on these little uh, hinges. I don't know exactly, exactly where, but I figure they're probably going to be sitting on top of this, right? Um, one thing that I can do is I'm going to look at this from the top and I just want to make a little measurement here. I can use my measurement tools and here I'll, I want to measure from this point to that point and it's going to tell me it's about 3.6 uh, millimeters so I'm going to round it up to probably like a I'm probably going to have to put the back plate uh, uh, probably like 1.5 and you'll, you'll understand why in a bit. Um, Alright so basically I'll grab my, my back plate here and I'm just going to rotate this because I'm going to grab a particular snap point which is going to be the bottom one right here so I'm going to grab that uh, turning my design mode on so I can pick a snap point I'm going to grab that snap point right there and I'm also going to uh, change uh, I'm going to give it a placement option and I'm going to add here to my Y I said that's going to be let's say about 2. Point, let's say 4 uh, 2.5 2. something like that Okay, so it's going to give me a, uh, I'm going to have a, diff the snap point's going to move a little bit out. So I'm just going to bring this in closer and snap it to this point right there, drop it in. And now, um, looks good. Um, it's pretty much snug. And if I rotate this, perfect. So the back plate is now fitted onto it. And now if I look at my, my back plate, um, everything should be okay. Now all I need to do now is uh, I'll do all my surfaces and all my interpretations. So uh, the trick for this is a little. Uh, it could take. It could be long and tedious because you have to assign these, like you saw probably in my previous video. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to assign the mounting surface. It's. Uh, I'm going to flip that around and probably do 180 degrees on that. And now all I'm going to do is um, it resembles the the retail example that I had. So I have my retail example here, which is this one, based on my little uh, guide. So I'm going to grab this guy right here which is this backplate I've already done uh, previously. And I'm going to grab this, I'm going to copy it. Turn that off, I'm going to copy that. I'm going to bring it over to my other macro project. In this retail example here, I'm going to drop it into my 000. All right. And now from here, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to grab this panel here, part five, I'm going to highlight it all and I'm going to use my automatic enclosure interpretation so that's you'll find it under here uh, it's under device logic automatic enclosure interpretation so I click on that and then the dialog is going to ask me from which one so I'm going to grab my retail example because it's pretty much similar to it and hit OK and there you go so the whole panel has been done I downloaded the part took me maybe a, a good couple of minutes um, I just assigned the backplate to uh, the pins where they're supposed to be sitting and then I use my automatic panel interpretation 
And now basically this panel has all the sides assigned to it. I have the door section that's been properly assigned. I have uh, the mounting uh, backplate with its mounting surfaces. And all I need to do now is just like the extra additional uh, stuff that came in with that step file, like these hinges and stuff like that. So I just have to assign these, select all these. These are part of the hinges. So I just need to go here to properties. Uh, change the mechanical information change it to be a mechanical information I will say system lock system probably it's gonna be a hinge and I will say that this items are fastened to the back plate and that's pretty much it close that up and there you go so all you have to do is just finish reassigning the the additional components that the logic items that you need like these little components here these all come from the step file the really detailed uh, components so uh, fine you can probably kill them if you want or you can keep them just assign some uh, logic information to them which will take you about two seconds and you're good to go so hope you enjoyed it hope it helps out